I know this is one that some of you have requested, um, which is the face mask. See my little ladybirds on. Um, just to caveat before we do this, I am making no statement on whether you should or shouldn't wear a face mask. It is entirely up to you. Depends on where you are in the world as to what you're mandated to do. I'm here in the UK. We don't have that mandated from the government. In fact, our government are kind of saying no face masks shouldn't be worn but I've seen a lot of people out wearing them and I've made a few myself as well and my brother lives in Prague in the Czech Republic where you have to wear a face mask if you're going out and um, a lot of you know I spend a lot of my time in Vienna in Austria and uh, in Vienna you have to wear a face mask. I make no statement on what's right or wrong, what you should or shouldn't do but some of you have asked me how to make one so I'm going to show you. They are actually quite easy, um, just very, very similar, in fact, to the coasters that we made. Uh, not that you're going to be wearing a coaster on your face. They just have an extra layer of fabric, which I'll show you um, how to make sure that it all ends up in the right order when you turn it through like this. But they do use that turn through method that we've used before and that is used in so many different types of um, sewing projects. You're going to get very used to doing it and you're going to become an expert in doing it in no time at all. We're going to make the three layered version and you see the one that I already made which is made with this um, ladybird fabric and I'm going to make one today using this galaxy print fabric. There's nothing to stop you having a little bit of fun with these and having a decorative fabric on the outside so you look kind of fun and cool while you're wearing your face mask. So I'm doing this as an adult face mask so the size that you need is a piece of fabric that is 25 centimeters by 20 centimeters. You need three of those. You need your outer layer, you need your middle layer, which I'm using a piece of brushed cotton, and then you need your backing fabric, and I'm using a piece of black, 100% cotton. And you'll also need two pieces of elastic that are, when loose, like not stretched, when loose, uh, 19 to 20 centimeters long will do. And we'll stick those over there, we'll come back to those later. Let's go to this camera down here and I'll show you how to layer your fabric up and get ready to sew it. So I have my three pieces of fabric here and I'm going to show you how to lay them out on the table so that when you turn it through you get the fabric in the right order. You get this in the front, you get your backing piece in the back and you get this in the middle. So the first piece that you want is your decorative fabric. So lay that out in front of you, right side up. It's really easy to see on this fabric. This is very clearly the wrong side and this is the right side. We talked about right and wrong sides of fabric once before. The next piece you need is your backing piece. It's a bit harder to see the right and the wrong side on this one, but this is the right side and you want to put the right side of your decorative fabric against the right side of your backing fabric. You could use a decorative fabric in the back as well if you want, it's entirely up to you. And then the next layer that you want to put is your lining layer, so that will go on the top. It seems a bit counterintuitive in that this really is the middle layer, but when you turn it through, this is where, this is what you'll end up with being in the middle. So it doesn't matter which way you put this on as long as it all matches up and it's all laying nice and flat one on top of the other. And now I'm not going to pin neatly all the way around the edges, but I am just going to pop a few pins in just to hold the fabric as it goes through the sewing machine. So I'm going to actually put them in just in the corners, but offset to the corner um, so that I don't have to take it out when I run it around the sewing machine. And there, my fabric is anchored in just at these four anchor points that will be enough for it to go through the sewing machine and stay in position. Now similar to the coaster you're going to run the sewing machine around the edge and you're going to leave a gap in one of the long edges not in the side edge because this is where we're going to put our pleats in but in one of the longer edges you're going to leave your gap from I don't know about there to about there. We're kind of eyeballing this so it's fine as long as there's a nice gap that you can turn through. So let's put that in the sewing machine and run a stitch all the way around the edge. So here we go. We've got a little gap here that we're going to pull the fabric through, turn it through the right way. Um, so now we can take our pins out because we don't need those anymore. 
And then the next thing to do is to open up the fabric between the front of your mask, the decorative side, and the black, for me, the black backing. So you're going to open it up there and this is the hole that you're going to pull everything through. The one thing that you need to do first, as always, is to cut the corners. And then with the help of our old friend, the knitting needle or the chopstick, whatever it is you're using, you can go into the corners and just get a nice sharp corner. Okay, now you've got your mask front, back and in the middle you've got an extra layer of fabric, an extra layer of protection. You want to do what you always do in this situation is just to where your open gap is slightly pull the fabric and it should pull the natural kind of fold in the fabric and pull it all together and then you can pop a pin along there just to hold it and you'll see i've put three pins along there just to hold that gap together so before you sew this end shut, just like you did with the coaster, you're going to put the pleats in to the fabric so that you can sew all around the edge and sew the pleating all at the same time with one layer of top stitch. So I'll show you how to do the pleating um, down here on this camera, it'll be easier. Again, we'll just slide the sewing machine out of the way. Scissors. So we're going to add our pleats. And to do that, we want to put the fabric with the decorative side up. You'll need some pins on hand. I've got mine over here. At about the six centimetre part point, put your forefingers. And then you're going to pinch the fabric between your thumb and your finger, and you're going to fold it back on itself until you have about a centimetre showing there. And this is like this on the end, you see. So that's folded back on itself. And then you're going to put a pin, not on the edge exactly where your stitch line is going to be, but a little bit further in so that you can leave the pins in while you sew around the edge. And that will be enough to hold your pleat. It's very hard to see on the star fabric, I know. And then you're going to do the same on the other side. So there we go, do you see what I've done? You've got um, your pleat on the front here and if you look at it on the back, you can see you've, ple you've pinched about a centimetre and a half or so in and then you've got this nice sharp line running across the back of your fabric. Your pins are on the other side. You're then gonna do the same on this side of the fabric and take the pleat underneath again and you're almost bringing it in fact you are bringing it kind of i show you up here you're bringing the two to meet in the middle that's a bit too close with the camera you're making this to bring to meet right there in the middle and then pop another pin in this pleat that you've just made and again i'm pinning not on the stitch line but a little more inside and then do the same on the other side So we've got our pleats folded and the other thing that I've just done is change these pins around so instead of them being on the back side they're on the front side so that I can sew round all in one go. These pins are far enough in from the edge where you're going to sew in that you're not going to need to take them out as you go but these pins you will need to remove because they're going to be in direct line of where you're sewing. Let's go back to the sewing machine and just do one row of top stitch all the way round the edge. So I'm going to start with the edge that has the pins in just to make sure that that gap is closed and that everything is nicely sealed around the edge. I'm going to start in the corner. Okay, now we're going to sew down the row where the pleats are. I've done a pivot in the corner just like we have done on the other projects and I'm going to sew down here and sew the pleats into position 
because you're sewing through would be three, six, nine layers of fabric, you just want to treat your machine a little delicately while you do it. It should be okay, it should be fine, um, but maybe don't hammer it out because it might break the needle or get the fabric stuck or not pick the bobbin up or whatever. So I'm gonna take it nice and slowly and see how we go. No problem. No. And then again, the other row with the pleats on. So again, we're gonna take it nice and slowly. So this is what you should end up with. A mask, an oblong shape with your decorative fabric on one side, your backing fabric on the other, and your pleats nicely sewn in so that when you mold it to your face, it sort of opens up and here we go. The last thing to do is sew the elastic onto the corners and then we're done. All right, let's lay our uh, mask out and then we're gonna anchor in the corners the elastic. It's probably gonna be about a centimeter and a half. You can see that, there, yeah, that's better. So a centimeter and a half of elastic and then just whack a pin in it to hold it in position. And then this one you're gonna bring around and do exactly the same. Now you can sew these on by hand if you want. We just ignore the little piece of blob of makeup that I got on it there. <laughs> you can sew these on by hand or you can put them in the machine. I'm using a quite wide elastic here, so I'm gonna pop it through the machine. But on the other one that I made, it's quite a, a smaller piece of elastic because the black that I had was wider <laughs> than the white. Um, so actually I've sewn these on, I don't know if you can see, I've just sewn those on by hand with a few um, back stitches just to hold that into position. So that's all there is to it really. They're really quite easy to do. There are loads of videos out there at the moment. I've seen I don't even know how many on YouTube of how to make a face mask. So this is not like an original pattern or something I've created. Um, in fact, this is the pattern that the Czech government have been giving to people um, to sew at home. So this is officially approved by the Czech government. And that's it finished. So all you do, hook it round your ears. My hair is annoying. There you go how to make your very own protective face mask. As I said in the beginning, I make no comment on whether you should or shouldn't be wearing one of these, but if you choose to, and if you want to make one at home, this is how you can do it. Thanks guys for joining me. I'll see you on the next one.